Good morning, everybody. <sighs> Cheers. Nothing like starting the morning with some coffee. You can't go wrong. You just can't beat it, especially since it's negative 15 degrees outside. Yeah, that's the only way you should be starting this morning. I woke up this morning and it was freezing cold and I thought, you know, going outside and trying to film a video sounds kind of hard. What if I film this video that I've been thinking about doing for literally the last like two years. It's been going through my mind and my good buddy, Lojo, he started a podcast uh, and he's been doing a lot of rankings, kind of like ranking YouTubers or ranking influencers. And I thought, hey, how about I jump on that bandwagon and do that today instead of going outside and freezing my butt off. With that being said, I decided that in today's video, I'm gonna be checking out the top 10 current ice fishing YouTube channels or what I think is the top 10 ice fishing YouTube channels. Some of you may not agree, uh, some of you may agree, but this is just all an opinion and we're gonna get into that in just a second. It's gonna be a really good video, but I have something super important to announce. If you guys remember last year, Mountain Dew was giving away $45,000 grants to outdoor organizations nationwide, and that money was gonna go back into these organizations to help the outdoors. Today, I'm super excited to announce that one of the 40 winners is the Fontenelle Forest Organization. For those of you that don't know what the Fontenelle Forest Organization is, I'll give you a little background on them. They're formed in 1913, and they're one of Nebraska's oldest conservation organizations, as well as one of the biggest nature centers in the US. The forest provides critical access to nature with more than 2,100 acres of land as well as 24 miles of hiking trails. It also provides services in conservation, education, and outdoor recreation. The mission of the organization is to provide a place where people can come and enjoy the outdoors as well as inspire future and current generations to take care of our world. If you guys wanna learn more about the organization, it'll be linked down below where you guys can go and check it out. Thank you to Mountain Dew for providing these awesome grants to these awesome organizations. But now let's get in today's video. So I've been thinking for like the longest time I should be doing this video and I had to come up with a list on how do you rank current YouTube channels, okay? So my buddy Lojo, I'm stealing this from him, okay? These are some things that I'm gonna go by today. Criteria, we're gonna look at the upload consistency of these ice fishing channels. We're also gonna look at the likability, which I mean, that should make sense. If people like them, that's gonna give them some more points. Relevancy, so how relevant are they? Like obviously I'm not gonna rank a channel that has no subscribers or doesn't get any views because nobody knows who they are, okay? That explains relevancy and longevity. So they may be good right now or they're doing okay right now, but how are they gonna be in the future? And can you see in their channel, they're always trying new things or they're just sticking to one thing and is it gonna get old over these years? So those are just some of the things that we're gonna look over. Again, we're gonna look at upload consistency, likability, relevancy, and longevity. This is gonna piss some people off, all right? I, I wanted this video to inspire you guys to drop comments and let me know what you guys think. And I'm just speaking from my mind right now, all right? You guys may have different opinions and that's totally fine. I'm just saying what my top 10 list is and I'm spilling it out on YouTube, if that makes any sense. And I'm trying not, I'm not gonna have any bias opinions on this. Um, I know some of these people on this list and I have never talked to some of these people on the list, but I think their videos are really good informational wise or et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this video like uh, like no cuts. I want this to be super natural and uh, I may wreck up. So bear with me. Um, so I have written on here my 10 channels that I think are uh, sufficient. And we're gonna go, we're gonna start from 10 and go to number one, okay? So number 10 on the list, I have Joe Holland Fishing. Now, I don't really know much about this guy. I just started watching him within the past couple years. And from what I can tell, he's a YouTuber from Maine. And you don't see very many Maine grinders or let alone like ice fishers from that area, even though there's some really good ice fishing to be made over there. But Joe Holland, let's, let's, look, uh, let's look at his channel really quick. So he has 21.1 thousand subscribers, 283 videos, 
and his little bio says, sharing fishing and outdoor adventures, loaded with tips and tricks and more. Fishing all seasons across the United States, including the FLW Pro Tour. Oh, so this guy actually must know what he's doing. So anyways, I put him at number 10 on the list because I thought his videos were very unique. He does a lot of multi-species. He does pike, uh, he does ice camping survival challenge videos, which is super cool. Uh, crappie videos and then brook trout videos and other types of weird Maine stuff that goes on in Maine. So I put him there because his upload consistency is pretty good. It looks like sometimes he uploads videos from previous years. So he may uh, film stuff prior and then post them at a different date. But it looks like when I'm looking at his channel right now, he's been uploading pretty consistent with 283 videos it's it's a little on the low end i don't know if he does this full time or not but he's trying as you can tell uh likability i he's very i think he's pretty well liked in the comments if you look at him people are just giving him the thumbs up not getting a lot of hate comments just like myself i, I get a lot of hate comments because people hate me for some reason um but yeah i would say likability is there relevancy he has 21,000 subscribers, which this is probably one of the smaller channels on this list. Yeah, I would say probably one of the smaller channels. And you know, I'll, I'm gonna say that because not everywhere in the United States can you, you know, ice fish. So how big of an audience can you really have for ice fishing? I don't really know, but I would say that his uh, relevancy is pretty decent. You know, it seems like he gets pretty good views. He's averaging, uh, you know, about 10 to 15 K a video, but you know, I put him on the list just because he catches big fish. He has good tips and it's in a cool place of the state that you don't see a lot of videos from longevity. This, this is getting hard guys. Longevity of this channel. You know, it looks like he's switching it up. He knows what he's doing. He's not just posting pike video, pike video, pike video, pike video. You know, he's going pike and then maybe he'll be going for brook trout and then ice camping. So I think he kind of understands YouTube. I'm just not really sure if, you know, this is his full-time job and like how hard he's actually going to keep going, if that makes sense. I think he may burn out but right now his channel is pretty decent and that is number 10 on our list joe holland so coming in at number nine i actually know this guy i've talked to him a couple times super nice guy i've never really fished with him but he's been on the same body of water when i have and you know anytime i talk to him he's a good guy 330 maniac all right coming in at number nine he is a detroit lakes minnesota grinder this guy grinds the panfish and he catches some absolute toads. I used to watch his videos a lot back in the day, and I learned a lot of pan fishing tips from him, and be mostly because, I, you know, I was so intrigued of the thumbnails that he would post. Like, bluegills literally were the size of my hands like that, and then crappies as well. So I'm gonna pull his channel up and just read a little bit of analytics. He has 48.3 thousand subscribers and 501 videos. That is a good amount of videos, I would say myself. I think he was one of the OGs to start posting on YouTube for ice fishing. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my timeline may be off a little bit, but I know he's been doing it a while and he's a super nice guy. Upload consistently. He uploads pretty consistently, I would say. Uh, however, I've noticed the last couple of years he's starting to mix in more beaver videos and trapping videos, which that's maybe why I'm putting him a little bit higher on the list and not in the top five. Uh, you know, I like it though. He's an outdoorsman and he's not afraid to show it. So that's pretty cool. Likeability, he's really well liked, I think. Uh, you know, I like him. A lot of people in the comments say they like him. And, you know, I haven't really heard a bad thing about him. So good guy. Relevancy, he's almost got 50,000 subscribers and he has videos pop off. But, I think this is this is true for every ice fishing YouTuber. Um, the views aren't what they used to be. They used to be way better back in the day, but now it's all saturated. So, you know, he's going through that as well. His videos back in the day, they were getting like, you know, like 50 to 100K sometimes or a lot more than that. But now with more and more people like myself posting on YouTube, uh, the views have gone down, but that's not really necessarily his fault. You know, but so relevancy is not bad. That's why he is at number nine. Longevity, 
I think this is what I will say. I think with him starting to post more trapping content and hunting content, be careful, my friend, okay? You're gonna start getting shadow banned. I think my channel is starting to get a little bit shadow banned, low key on the low key, uh, because YouTube, they don't really like the blood and the killing and you know how nature actually works sometimes. They don't really like it, and I think they like to suppress your videos. So I think if he goes down this, this uh, path of posting mostly trapping videos and less ice fishing videos, his longevity may not be there uh, in the future. But if he completely switched to ice fishing and fishing, I think his channel would do a lot better. So coming, at num coming in at number nine, 330 Maniac. Oh boy, number eight, here we go. Okay, if you guys know Wisconsin, you guys know my boys from NB Edits, all right? They are good friends of mine, believe it or not. Okay, I'm not trying to make this list biased or anything but I truly believe that they are a top 10 contender for the ice fishing YouTubers. Now, they've been doing YouTube for roughly as long as I have, um, maybe a little bit shorter, but they, they started posting, eh, you know, five years ago, kind of when the boom started happening, and they actually started blowing up because of their Walmart YouTube challenges. But then they started posting ice fishing challenges, and that was kind of unheard of back in the day. Them and myself were pretty much the only ones doing that, and we both rode that way for a little bit. So coming in at number eight, my boys over at MB Edits, they have, let's pull up their analytics, 14.8 thousand subscribers and 213 videos. So I, you know, this is all love. All right, guys, this is all love for anybody watching this. If you're on this list, if you're not on this list, like I'm sorry, all love to everybody on this. But if there's one flaw about MB Edits and why they're so high on the list and not uh, why they're so low on the list and not in the top five, they have a problem with consistency. And I personally know these guys, I get it. They both work at 95. You know, they one of them has a wife now. Uh, Brad, you know, he just hot control drops all the time. Like we get that, you know? So their upload consistently, their upload consistency is good for a little bit, you know, like during the ice fishing season, like early ice, but as it goes on, starts to get colder, it gets a little bit harder for them to post. And uh, yeah, I would say that is the only thing they're kind of lacking uh, is their, you know, their consistency, but their likability, people like them a lot. All their comments are good. They do a lot of pike fishing. They catch big walleyes. Uh, they, they, like I said, they do the challenge videos, which is super unique. They caught some freaking like giant pikes on hot dogs, on dental floss. They did the Walmart challenges. Um, you know, I would say they like to switch around their videos a lot too, which is super cool. And yeah, you know, for all those reasons, I think they are a top 10 contender. Now, I went over upload consistency, likability. Relevancy, it's it's there. I've seen their videos do really good. I've seen them do really bad. It all comes down to upload consistency. And as I was saying, if they uploaded more, I think their relevancy would be higher up. But you know, they're weekend warriors. So maybe that's one thing they have going for them is that, you know, people like watching their channel because of that reason, because like their viewers are like them you know they work a nine to five during the week they only fish on the weekends exactly what nb edits is so we'll leave it at that that's why nb edits is coming in at number eight. Oh, coffee break coffee break coffee break mm. coming in at number seven on my list fish in more outdoors murray aka murda aka Murder on the talk, AKA murder on the Instagram. This dude has so many freaking handles, I don't even know what to call him. I've never personally met Murray, but I have talked to him a couple times via Instagram, via Snapchat, etc. He seems like a really good dude, all right? And it also seems like he knows how to fish. That man is always catching big walleyes, big pike, or whatever. I think one of the first videos I saw of him was when he was ice fishing Mille Lacs and he, they were, he was like catching giant pike on tip ups on iFish Pros. Um, that was back when, you know, people didn't really know how to do YouTube, but like he put together a decent story and it was not bad. Let's pull up his channel and read some analytics. All right, he has 79.9 thousand subscribers, so almost 80K, which is really impressive for an ice fishing channel. 
and he has 466 videos. Sheesh. All right, that's pretty good. And I'm looking at his videos. He gets really good views during the ice fishing season. It looks like 38K, 49K, 45K, 35, 72K. I would say his channel is very similar to mine, actually. Like he, he does a very good job of thumbnails, does a very good job of mixing up the videos. And it looks like he understands how, you know, ice camping, obviously, like I said, is a big thing. He's doing ice camping videos and they're doing just fine on his channel. So that is going good for him. Upload consistency for criteria number one. We're gonna check that one. He ups uploads at least two to three times a week, I believe. Likeability, uh, I would say he's likable. If you're on this list, you're probably likable, all right? You're probably likable. Number three, relevancy. He, I, damn, he's got like 80K. So I would say that's pretty relevant because there's not many YouTube channels on here that are surpassed that. that that's a good amount for ice fishing. So relevancy is there. He's getting really good consistent views, which is good to see. And longevity. I would say his longevity is pretty good on the YouTube channel. He was more one of the OGs. And I think if you if you started earlier in one of the OGs, your longevity is a has a better chance at going, uh, just because people know you and they know what to expect. So every year they're gonna, they're gonna keep coming back. So longevity is a check. Uh, Murray's videos, I I like watching them here and there. He uh, catches big fish, like I said, and that's why he is number seven on my list. All right, coming in at number six, probably honestly one of the most talented people on this list and the best storyteller on this list, Samuel Sobey, okay? I've talked to him a couple times. Um, he used to film for Alex Perrick, then he split off. I'm not really sure what happened there. Doing his own thing now. He's got a channel called Sobey, and this man knows how to tell a story, and obviously he knows how to film it. Uh, he has, you know, really good footage, and he, he seems just to know how to string stuff together and make it smooth. So, Sam Sobey is my number six. Let's pull up his channel right now and check it out. Okay, let's see here. So, Sobey has 63.4 thousand subscribers and 309 videos. Okay, okay. So, he is another Minnesota guy. I know he likes to fish for panfish. That seems to be his big thing. Uh, if I had to knock him for anything, it would be for, for number one, his upload consistency is okay. I'm not sure if this is his full-time job or not, but I, I think he could put out more content. But, you know, he is trying to put out better content, so I understand that it's a little bit harder to put out like bangers with awesome edits, you know, four times a week. Maybe you can only do two. So maybe he's trying to do that, which is cool. Uh, but, you know, uh, consistency is okay. And I would also say, like I was saying earlier, he posts a lot of panfish videos. I think if he did more multi-species or more walleye or more, I don't know, catfish or something, I think that could make his channel also a little bit better while also posting more videos. If he could post more videos doing different stuff and you know keep the same quality, it would be good. So. Just uh, we did upload consistency, likability. Everybody likes Sobi. He's a super nice guy. You know what they say, Minnesota nice. That is Sam. Really, really awesome. Uh, I've talked to him m numerous times on the phone, and he seems like a straight stick. Uh, relevancy, we kind of already touched that. It's pretty good. Longevity, we also touched that. Uh, you know, I, he his views are all right. I would like to see more content, man. If you posted more content, I think you could break the top five in this group. Uh, but that's why he's coming in at number six. He makes awesome videos, Samuel Sobey. Oh boy, now is when we're gonna start ruffling some feathers. Okay, we're getting to the top five. And when you get to this point in time, the top five are the heavy hitters, man. It could go any way. Any of these guys could be number one, honestly. I'm gonna say it right now. Any of these guys could be number one but I, I had to do the ranking and I'll give my reasons why. So coming in at number five, I have Mr. Clayton Schick. A lot of you know this guy. This man is absolutely insane. It blows my mind that he, he went out, he's already caught like two 30 inch walleyes this year. What the heck, bro? I've been fishing for that my whole life, haven't caught one. I think everybody on this list can say they've been fishing for 
giant fish like that their whole lives. And Clayton can literally be like, oh, I guess I'll go catch a fish and goes and catches one just like that. That is absolutely insane. So this guy is known for catching big walleyes, big Lakers, uh, what else is there? Anything big, Clayton can get it done for you. Now, some of you may ask in like, why is he not number two? Why is he not number three? Uh, you know, I I'm, I'm gonna say some reasons why I think he's in the top five, why he's an awesome angler, he knows a lot but why necessarily he may not be uh, the number one YouTube channel. So um, I would say the only thing that's holding him back is his style of videos. It It's super, super similar to another YouTuber on this channel, which he could be going for, but I think that limits him because it, it's already been done and like this guy, already claimed this style of video and i think if clayton just maybe tried to do something a little bit different filming wise or putting his videos together a little bit differently than somewhat this other person which i'll mention later i think that would bump him up a little bit more just because this person this other person is so high on this list and he's just goaded that you know everybody sees clayton's videos and just says oh that's a a blank video that's not a clayton chick video that's a blank video which we'll get to but um you know i'm not trying to knock the guy this is just what i think uh he catches way bigger fish than me and he knows what the heck he is doing so clayton shake is going to be my number five on the ice fishing youtube channel upload consistency it's pretty good um on it well i mean it's like once a week so i if he pumped those up a little bit more i think he'd be doing a lot a lot better um numbers wise but speaking of numbers wise let me let me pull this up right here sorry this is just all over the place I, i'm not very prepared if you guys can tell so clayton has 63.1 thousand subscribers which that is good he only has 227 videos which is a little bit on the low end and uh you know i think he's only been doing youtube for maybe two years so that's actually not bad but like i said uh upload consistency it could be a little bit better like he hasn't posted in six days so you know we could pump those up um likeability people like them people like all those canadians man they are really funny and i will say one thing that clayton does really well is he educates he is a very good educator relevancy i mean hell the guy if you go if you're in canada you know who this guy is if you guys know what big wallets are you guys know who this is clayton chick is relevant number four longevity um just because I, i'm honestly i'm gonna say this. i think because he catches so many big fish he's gonna be just fine all right like you can expect this guy to catch like five 30 inch wallets a year he's gonna be fine coming in at number five clayton chick Whoo! All right, number four on the list, Mr. Tom Booley. Now, Tom, I've never talked to this guy, but he is another walleye grinder from Wisconsin. I believe he's from the Hayward area. And the first thing that comes to my mind when someone says Tom Booley, walleyes. He's the walleye man. It's simple as that. And I think if there were, if I had to say any anybody on this list that was a little more knowledgeable than Clayton, I would say Tom Bully. Tom Bully in the walleye category. Tom knows how to freaking catch walleyes, no doubt about it. Let's check out his channel. Tom Bully has 90,000 subscribers and 402 videos. So that's gonna check the likability and relevance right there. He's got a lot of people following him. Um, like I said, he he has like one of the greatest tip videos out there. Um, but his consistency is also good. I see on this channel, he's posting like three times a week, which is, which is good. Uh, if I had to knock him for anything, so why is he not number one? Now, I don't think he's number one because he really only fishes walleyes, okay? Like if you look at his videos, all of his videos are catching walleyes and they're pretty much the same video. Now that's totally fine. If, if, if he's, if he's going for that, you know, that's awesome. But I think in the, uh, YouTube game, sometimes people like to, to see a mix up or, you know, see something a little bit different. Like some people are, are okay with watching the same thing over and over again. But me personally, I like watching a little bit of, of differences. So Tom is lacking a little bit in, uh, in that category as well as okay he has 
okay, Tom, I don't, I, no offense, man. You have no emotion. You catch a three inch walleye, oh yeah, we'll take him like that. Like, like, where's the freak out, bro? Like, I wanna see some emotions in your video, more emotions. Like, it's so, his personality is so like this, which is why he's so successful, but, you know, personally, I, I like to see a little bit of this. Like, I think it makes great video. It's super funny sometimes. Uh, but you know, when, when people go to his channel, they're going for informational stuff and they're going to watch fish catches. So Tom Bully, you're going to be our number four contender for the day. And uh, yeah, time to move on to the top three. All right, all right, all right, all right. Number three on my list. We're almost done, guys. Mr. Jay Siemens from Canada. This guy is a really nice guy. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna check that likability right now. That guy, um, I've talked to him numerous times. Seems like one of those guys that'll just give you a shirt off of his back. And does that man know how to hold the hell out of a camera? Okay, he knows how to make anything look good. Did I say that correctly? He can make anything look good. He can film a video on an iPhone 3 and just make it look like it was filmed on a red camera. I don't know how he does it, but he's a freaking beast, okay, with a camera. So that's one thing when you think of a Jay Siemens video, you think of the awesome dope B-roll. And he fishes up in Canada, catches big Lakers, big walleyes, he ice camps, he'll do comparison videos between different ice fishing units. I think this guy is so high on the list for all of these reasons. He's literally the Swiss army knife of ice fishing YouTubers. So that's why he's gonna be number three for me. 106,000 subscribers, that is absolutely insane. He only has 272 videos, so if I had to knock Jay for anything, it would be the fact uh, that his upload consistency may be a little bit less, but he makes up for it in the quality of his videos. Obviously his videos are absolutely insane with the uh, editing and, and also the fish catchers. He holds himself to a high standard. Like I'll throw anything on YouTube, I'll, I'll show you literally everything. Jay, uh, I, I think he'll show you everything, but he, he just wants to make it look so good and sometimes it takes so long. So if I had to knock Jay for anything, it would be upload consistency, but that's okay. Relevancy, likability, all there. Longevity, I think he's gonna be fine. I mean, this man's doing pretty crazy things, uh, not just ice fishing, you know, the whole year he's doing crazy stuff, going to Arctic char, making films. He was actually with Meat Eater a couple of days. Like, this dude is totally gonna be fine, and that's why Mr. J. Siemens is gonna be number three on my list. And number two. So, I don't know how you guys are gonna take this number two. This is what I think, but number two, I'm gonna put in-depth outdoors. Now, some of you may say, hey, that's not a YouTube channel. Well, they have a YouTube channel, so I'm counting it. Uh, in-depth outdoors is a TV show that posts some of their videos uh, on, on YouTube. Now, I will say they, they follow the TV format mostly, but personally, I like watching it because they're fishing waters that I like to fish. So. Uh, you know, if, if I want to know if something's hot, like is Red Lake hot, is Lake of the Woods hot, you know, I'll watch an IDO video. And James Holst is an awesome host. I think he does a super good job of narrating the story and as well as educating. All those guys on that show are freaking sticks. They know how to catch fish. My, I know one personally very well, Connor Kleiss, my good buddy. That man can slap giants and very knowledgeable fishermen. So all those guys over there are very well respected in the industry. Um, if I if I had to knock them for anything, or why they're not number one, is because because of that TV format. You know, they're, they're, they kind of have that bland personality. That maybe they're trying to be super professional on the camera, which which is awesome. I think that's great. But I think sometimes, you know, it, it, people on YouTube want to watch, want to laugh. They want to see something funny. So that's why that's the only thing that I wouldn't put them as number one, just because of their personalities, it's so uh, dumbed down and kind of bland. But I think if you're learning, if you're coming to learn or, you know, check out a hot bite or something, In-Depth Outdoors is a good place to do it. They, they travel across the whole Midwest. Uh, they have a pretty good budget, it seems like. I mean, James is rolling around in a new truck every year. He's got a big, snowmobile he can get to all these he can basically access 
bites that not, you know, all of the normal average people could because he has all these toys and all these connections. So I think that's kind of cool to watch on film. Uh, I'll pull up their analytics really quick. Analytics, 92.8K subscribers. So almost 100K, which that's that's good. 450 videos. So, you know, they're, they're out filming every week. They're posting a lot of videos, but you know, again if okay another thing i'm gonna knock him on right now james if you're watching this video here's the one thing you cannot post a video on youtube and leave the ads on tv in the video and put youtube ads in there like come on man that's kind of a dick move so that's another thing i'm gonna knock them on but i think they're very likable the relevancy is there their longevity uh it it may not last very long because they do follow like i said the tv format so every video has the same b-roll shots has the same music um you know same intro and, and the same structure they'll they'll do an intro at the shop they'll take you to somewhere across the midwest do some talking blah blah blah, blah on the spot like I, I would say if they really wanted to pursue a youtube career they have a lot to change but if they did it, I think they'd be pretty cool. So In-Depth Outdoors is my number two. Coming in at number one, the GOAT, the best of the best, the weirdest, craziest mother trucker on YouTube, Uncut Angling, Aaron Weeb. Wow, big shocker. Nobody was expecting that, okay? So I, what is there to say about Aaron? Aaron has probably one of the craziest videos on YouTube. Uh, he can he can go catch a 30 inch walleye if he wants to he can go catch a you know a 28 inch crappie if he really wanted to i'm sure if that's even possible um he could go catch a 10 inch a 10 stripe perch if he wanted to he could catch the world record lake trout like this man is so cracked at ice fishing it's absolutely insane and he is what i would consider the grandfather of ice fishing on youtube as well he's been posting videos for so freaking long on YouTube, I think. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to his flaws in a second, which I mean, you guys all know his flaw, but he has 270K subscribers, which is crazy, and 172 videos. Not a lot of videos, Aaron, but since you're the GOAT, you can literally get away with anything. Aaron has the best mixture, in my opinion, of everything. He can catch the big fish. He can have the hilarious moments in videos. He can have the videos where you're just like, what did I just watch? Like his personality is what makes his videos and the ability when you put that together with being able to catch any type of fish whenever he wants to, that puts him at number one and it, his work goes to show it. You just look at some of his ice fishing videos from back in the year. Um, absolutely insane. All of the Lake Trout Redemption videos are crazy. Personally, my favorite video is the 16 inch crappie video on the hair jig that I just tied this morning. Okay, that was cringe. I didn't mean to do that. That was really cringe, but that's probably his best video he's ever made. Um, the only thing that he has against him, which everybody can agree, is his upload consistently is absolute dog water. Like I could literally go film like 10 videos and post them, you know, in over the course of 10 years, I could post literally 10 videos in 10 years and that would probably be more than Aaron. Yeah, his consistency is trash, but since he is literally goaded, he can do it every once and he can get away with it, which is absolutely insane. It's crazy to see that someone can just do that and get away with it. But wouldn't you Aaron Weeb? you can get away with it. Coming in at number one, Uncut Angling. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've just been doing so much talking and talking and talking. It's kind of cringy. I don't know how this footage is gonna turn out or if this is gonna flow very well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That is my personal top 10 ice fishing YouTube channels. Uh, and I wanna know, what do you guys think are your top 10 drop those comments down below i want to read them i want to see where i messed up i want to see if you think my list needs to be reorganized i want to see if you think i'm missing out on somebody another big thing is a lot of you may say like oh so and so should be in here well you know he may be on there but 
I tried to choose the channels that mainly did ice fishing. Like they're known for ice fishing. If they post one ice fishing video a year, but it gets a lot of views, like that's awesome. But I wouldn't consider that an ice fishing YouTube channel, if you guys know what I'm saying. So uh, there's a lot of ins and out on what I use for criteria on this video. Um, maybe I'll redo this and come up with a better list or if you guys give me different criteria to rate on I'll do that or if you want me just to sit down more often and do more ranking videos like this Let me know I'm down for it because honestly I would literally rather probably film anything right now than going outside and fishing because it I, I'm a weenie. It's it's cold out guys. Come on. Thank you guys so much for sitting through that video. I know it was a lot of talking, but we got through it. Hopefully I entertained you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.